for people who know advanced sql this can be done using a window function as well called lead but we are going to solve this using our basic join hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview and 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are already done with the select basic joins basic aggregate functions as well as the sorting and grouping part we are currently working on the advanced select and join then we'll be moving to sub queries and finally to advanced string functions regex and closes in this video we are going to solve this question called consecutive numbers and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 33rd video of this series consecutive numbers and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so adobe amazon facebook apple uber so kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called logs with two different columns id whose data type is integer and number who is a variable character in sql id is the primary key for this table id is also an auto increment column and this is very important for the logic that we are going to develop we are asked to find all numbers that appear at least three times consecutively order of the result does not matter okay let's look at this example so here what is the number that has at least appeared thrice consecutively number one has appeared consecutively at least thrice and then number two no so only number one and that is what we have in our output in this question what we need is for that particular row what is the value in the number column in the next row as well as the next row because if the values in the current row next row and the next to next row is same that means that number has been repeated at least three times consecutively now for people who know advanced sql this can be done using a window function as well called lead but we are going to solve this using our basic join and that to a self join so basically we are going to join this table on itself two times to get what is the value in the next row as well as the next to next row let me switch to excel so that we can develop the logic so what we need is for in this particular row if i can get the value of the number column in the next row here and value of the number column in next to next row here then i can compare that okay if these three are same that means this number has been repeated at least thrice so how do i perform a self join let me just you know copy this part copy this here and paste it here log table and let's alias this as l1 so that it's easier for us to see l1 and let me alias this as l2 okay so now if i do l1 dot id so id column of this l1 version plus one is equal to l2 dot id why i'm doing a plus one is that here just think about it i need what is the value in the second row so here is this is id equal to one and the number here is one now i want the second row right so what in this what is the id equal to two what is the value in the number column so if i do let me just go back and write this query so that i can explain it further so if i do from this table called logs alias as l1 let me do a let's say do a left join of logs but this time alias as l2 and this is what we call a self join joining a table on itself and we are doing on l1 dot id plus one is equal to l2 dot id so see how is this going to work so i'm saying l1 dot id so one plus one so that becomes two and it goes and finds where is two so two is here and it will populate okay whatever is here as well as the number in the number column so here it will populate two and one similarly it will do l1 dot id so two plus one three tries to find out okay three we have one so here if we will be having three one now for this three it will try to find out four two right so you see how this is populating the value in the next row so now we have this right so these are the numbers in the next row similarly if we do the same thing again that there is another one called l3 and we do l2 dot id plus one is equal to l3 dot id we are again going to have what is the value in the third row as well so this is what you will have after performing a join so if i just do and then left to join logs aliased as l3 l3 and on same stuff so l2 dot id plus one is equal to l3 dot id 
and if i just do select star right so select star so it basically return everything this is what we will get in our output so if i just drag it above and here so this is the same thing that we see here so now it is very simple to know okay where we have at least three interpretations so if your l1 dot number is equal to l2 dot number and l2 dot number is equal to l3 dot number that means that particular number has been repeated at least three times so we can do here after performing a join we need to make sure we are only left with those rows where l1 dot number is equal to l2 dot number and l2 dot number is equal to l3 dot number let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now we are left with only one row and this is this row because only in this row we have equality whereas this is equal to this is equal to this so we have that and then we simply need to return the number part so because in our output we need the number that has repeated at least three times so here we can just go ahead and do return l1 dot number and alias this as consecutive numbers and uh, if i go ahead and run this this should be accepted but still not complete yet because we are missing one thing even though this is accepted the thing is just think about it here instead of this one repeating thrice had it been you know this one is also one then we would be having this another row row number two where this instead of being two would have been one as well right so here if you have four and two if, if instead of that it was four and one here would be we would be having four and one so if you do l1 dot number is equal to l2 dot number and l2 dot number is equal to l3 dot number then you would be left with two rows but you do not need the repetition in an output so that is why you need to do you return even if there is a repetition just return the distinct values so distinct l1 let me go ahead and run this obviously this will so accept it but now if i go ahead and submit it it will pass all the test cases so you see it passed all the test cases and this is how it do it so yes somewhat difficult question but you can solve this using joins as well specifically self join once we learn about window functions this can also be done by the same concept right so instead of performing a join you can find what is the value in the next row of a particular column using the lead function so it's called lead function this is a window function which you can use what is the value in the next and not only the very next here if you find right lead from which column you want and how many rows or like do you want the next next to next etc so if you do one it will get the next if you do it two so it after this it will skip one row and in the second row what is the value and so on right so you can use that as well so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video